The sport of strongman started in Poland in 1998 with the first competition of Poland Strongest Men being held in 1999. Even though Poland was a bit late to the party, they are among the strongman giants. Poland has produced some of the finest strongmen we've ever seen. I'm the strongman historian and in this list we are gonna look at the best of them. Opening our list at number 12, we have Sebastian Kurek. Sebastian started competing in strongman very early and was by far the lightest competitor. But as years went on, he quickly rose to being one of the best Poland had to offer, finishing third in both the 2011 and 2012 Poland Strongest Man. Sebastian finished third in the 2012 Giants Life Poland, where he managed to beat some of the best guys in the world. This performance landed him an invite to the 2012 World Strongest Man. Sebastian performed pretty well in his heat, but going up against Haftor, Eddie Hall, Mike Jenkins and Nick Best as a newcomer is a tough task. He finished fifth in his heat in his one and only appearance at the World Strongest Man. To this day, Sebastian competes in the Strongman Champions League, with notably finishing second in two of their events in 2019 and third in the 2022 Strongman Champions League Portugal. At number 11 we have Robert Sirvus. Robert didn't compete at the highest international level, but his strength is undeniable. During his career, Kropek managed to beat a number of top-level athletes. He first appeared at Poland Strongest Man in 2013, already finishing in second place. This got him invited to Giants Life and Strongman Champions League in Poland, but he finished mid to bottom of the table. He kept competing in Poland Strongest Man, never finishing lower than fourth. In 2015 and 2017, he finished second to Mateusz Kiliszkowski at Poland. Missing the top spot by just one point in 2017. In this season he also competed in the international competition Puchar Narodo, winning three of them, beating Jank Oleksi Novikov. In 2018 he competed in Arnold Europe, finishing 8th out of 16 athletes. At the 2019 Poland Strongest Man he was in the lead coming into the last event, but once again lost to Mateusz, finishing in second by just half a point. In 2019 he would also compete in Lithuanian competitions, finishing second in Mariampole International and third in Savitskas Classic. In 2020 he finally managed to win his national title, becoming the Poland's strongest man. Nowadays Kropek competes in MMA. Opening the top 10 we have Mateusz Baron. Mateusz started competing in strongman very early, when he was just 19 he was already competing in Poland Strongest Man. When he was 20, in 2009 he finished third at Europe Strongest Man. The following year he tied for first at Poland Strongest Man with Rafał Kobilas, but due to rules of that competition he finished in second place. In 2011 he won the Arnold Amateur. This is even more impressive considering he beat Haftor Bjornsson, Mike Berg and Mikhail Shevlyakov. This level of performance continued at the 2011 Giants Life in Poland, where he once again managed to beat Haftor, finishing in third place. The following year, he did one better, finishing in second. At the 2014 edition of Giants Life Poland, he finished only second to Zidrunas. Mateusz appeared at Worlds three times, with his best finish being fourth in his heat. His last international competition was the Strongman Champions League Romania in 2016, which he won. After retiring from Strongman, he had a go at MMA, winning two of his amateur fights, losing in his pro debut. At number 9 we have Slavomir Toček. Slavek was part of the first generation of top Polish athletes. He finished second only to Mariusz Pudzianowski at the 2004 Poland Strongest Man. Two weeks later, he finished just off the podium at Europe's Strongest Man in 4th place. In 2005, he repeated both his 2nd place at Poland's and 4th place at Europe's. This year, Slavik also appeared at the World's Strongest Man for the first time, however, he was unable to make the final. 
The 2006 season was probably Slavek's best, as he once again finished second at Poland's Strongest Man, and he also took second at Pojedinje Giganto. In both cases, to Mariusz Pudzianowski. This will be the case for a lot of the guys on the list. He also made the World's Strongest Man final, and finished in 10th place. The only other season that could rival this one is his 2008 season, when he once again came second to Marius at Poland's Strongest Man and tied for second at Europe's Strongest Man. He once again came just short at the 2011 Poland's Strongest Man, finishing in second place. In 2019, Slavek competed at the World's Strongest Man Masters, finishing in fourth place. At number 8, we have Rafał Kobilas. Rafał competed at Poland's Strongest Man for the first time in 2008, when he was only 19 years old. He finished in last place, but gained valuable experience. The following year, he competed at the Europe's Strongest Man, where he finished 5th, beating some of the best guys in the world at that time, Mark Felix and Rajvis Vidzis. At the 2009 Poland Strongest Man, he finished just off the podium, improving drastically on his previous result. Rafal's progress in the gym was incredible as well. He deadlifted 400 kilos when he was only 21 years old. Amazing lift in itself, but when we put it into context, this was only 10 kilos of the world record at the time. In 2010, Rafał won his national title, becoming the Poland Strongest Man. Rafał was very active at national level competitions and at the Strongman Champions League, where he won the 2012 show in Bulgaria. His results got him invited to the World Strongest Man in 2014, where he finished fourth in his group. He got re-invited for the 2015 edition, but missed out on the final with a third place finish in his heat. Rafal never repeated his win at Poland's Strongest Man, but since his win, he never finished off the podium. In his long career, he has competed in over 210 competitions, and he is still active on the Strongman circuit. At number 7, we have Robert Szczepanski. Robert burst onto the scene in 2002, just as the biggest strongman boom in Poland started. His first competition was the 2002 Poland Strongest Man, where he finished in 5th place. The following year, he was already second only to Mariusz in Poland Strongest Man. However, there was a split in Poland as well as in World Strongest Man, so there was very little head-to-head -head between Robert and Mariusz. Robert was very active at the IFSA circuit, being a frequent podium finisher at their Grand Prix. At the 2005 IFSA European Championships, he finished in 5th spot ahead of Svend Karlsson, Magnus Samuelsson and Mikhail Koklaev. However, his performances didn't translate to the IFSA World Championships, as he always struggled with injuries. Despite this, he finished 9th out of 16 athletes in 2005, 6th out of 12 athletes in 2006 and 2007. In 2008, he won the European Strongman Cup, beating Zidrunas. Finally, in 2009, he competed at the Poland Strongest Man against the Dominator himself, beating him, winning the title of Poland Strongest Man. Robert came second to Witautas Lalas at the 2010 Giants Life Poland, and this got him invited to his one and only World Strongest Man. He performed really well in his heat, finishing second in the first two events, however, due to an injury he was forced to withdraw. At number 6, we have Grzegorz Szymański. Grzegorz appeared out of nowhere and was immediately one of the best Poland had to offer. From the get-go, he rivaled Mariusz and his speed. In his first Poland Strongest Man in 2007, he finished third. He competed at the 2008 Europe Strongest Man, finishing second only to Mariusz. Despite his solid performances, Grzegorz wouldn't appear at Worlds until 2014. However, the first time he appeared, he was unable to make the final. Winning his national title in 2014 and doing really well at the Strongman Champions League got him invited to the World's Strongest Man once again in 2015, but just like the year before, he finished fourth in his group. 
After winning two strong win Champions League shows and finishing second at the Saviskas Classic, he got invited to the 2016 World Strongest Man and after battling with Adam Bishop in the heats, he finally made the final, ending the competition as the 8th best strongman in the world. However, disaster struck at the end of 2017 when Grzegorz was diagnosed with cancer. He made his return to the World Strongest Man in 2022, however, despite him having one of the best times in the car walk, he was unable to make the final again. Opening the top 5, we have Sebastian Venta. Sebastian started doing Strongman pretty late, when he was already in his early 30s. Before that, he was a shot putter. Even though Sebastian had a very short career, after I'm done listing his accomplishments, you will understand why he is at number 5. As soon as he entered the sport, he was one of the best in Poland, finishing 3rd in Pojedinie Giganto, just couple months into his strongman training. He started winning international shows in Russia and Ukraine, and placed top 3 in Poland Strongest Man and Polish Super Series Grand Prix. This got him invited to the World's Strongest Man, where he finished 6th in the final. In 2007 he placed 2nd at Europe's Strongest Man, further cementing himself as one of the best strongmen in the world. This form continued and later in the year he finished 2nd at the biggest competition of the year, the World's Strongest Man. Sepp competed in one of the toughest competitions of all time, the 2008 Fortissimus, where he proved that he can hang with the IFSA guys finishing on the podium. He once again made the World's Strongest Man final in 2008, finishing in 6th place. The following year, Sebastian got injured at Worlds and that's the last time we've seen him at the biggest stage. After his retirement from Strongman, Sebastian kept competing in Highland Games. For a long time, there was no one in the world who could truly rival Mariusz Pudzianowski. There was, however, one man in Poland. Jarek Dimek was a part of the first generation of Polish strongmen and from the start he was one of the best in the world. His third place finish at the 2000 Europe Strongest Man just proves this. At the 2001 IFSA Polish Grand Prix, he beat the current champion Svend Carlsen, the 1998 World Strongest Man champion Magnus Samuelsson and the future 2001 champion Jani Virtanen. He won his national title and got invited to the World's Strongest Man, where he finished 7th in the final. Jarek placed 2nd at the 2002 Europe's Strongest Man, finishing 2nd to Marius. Jarek once again made the World's Strongest Man final, finishing in 9th place. A week later he got his revenge on Marius, beating him at Poland's Strongest Man. He repeated his win at the 2003 IFSA Polish Grand Prix, beating Robert Szczepański, Raymond Bergmanis and Zidruna Savickas. He had it another podium finish at Europe's Strongest Man, beating once again Bergmanis, Savickas and Carlsen. But Jarek got even better. The 2005 season was his best and he was damn near unstoppable. He won the Europe's Strongest Man, the Poland's Strongest Man and was on his way to get a podium finish at Worlds, but on the last event he tore his biceps and finished in 4th place. Unfortunately, age and injury started to catch up with him. Even though he still managed to get 2nd at Poland Strongest Man and at Strongman Super Series in Norway, it wasn't the same Jarek. He appeared at World Strongest Man further 3 times, but was unable to make the final. He won the 2009 Giants Life in Poland, but retired shortly after in 2010. He retired as one of the best strongmen from Poland. At number 3 we have Krzysztof Radzikowski. Krzysztof started competing in strongmen when he was only 23. Considering he competed against all of the guys that we've seen on the list, he didn't have it easy. This is one of the reasons why later in his career he was one of the strongest competitors we've ever seen. The first result that hinted at what's to come was his second place finish at Europe's Strongest Man in 2009. Krzysztof won the 2011 Giants Life Poland, beating Mike Jenkins and Haftor, who were both World's Strongest Man final level athletes. 
This got him his first invite to World's Strongest Man, but he only finished fourth in his heat. He came into the 2012 season as the reigning Poland's Strongest Man, winning three World's Strongman Federation shows and Giants Life Poland. He topped this amazing season with the second place finish at Arnold Europe, fourth place at the Europe's Strongest Man, and sixth place in the World's Strongest Man final. Krzysztof started his 2013 season in a similar form, taking a fourth place at the Arnold and winning his national title. His multiple wins in the Strongman Champions League led to him taking the overall title at the end of the year. At Europe's Strongest Man, he improved one spot from the previous year, taking third place. At the beginning of 2014, he tore his triceps at the Arnolds doing the Austrian Oak. However, he came back later in the season, winning four Strongman Champions League shows in a row and finishing fourth at Europe's Strongest Man. At the 2015 World's Strongest Man, Krzysztof once again missed out on the final, but he was unstoppable in the Strongman Champions League. He competed in 10 of their shows, never finishing off the podium, winning 3 of them and becoming the Strongman Champion League Champion for a second time. He did incredibly well at Europe's this year as well, finishing second only to half tour. 2016 was a good year for Krzysztof, he finished top 3 in Arnold Europe, Arnold Australia and Arnold South America, as well as winning the Strongman Champions League at FIBO. At the 2017 Arnold Classic, Krzysztof got injured once again, but that didn't prevent him from doing well at the Strongman Champions League. He got injured at the 2018 Europe Strongest Man as well, and as injuries started to pile up, his performance started to suffer. Even though he still managed to win some SCL shows, he retired in 2019. Since then, Krzysztof lost a lot of weight and had the fight in MMA. There are just elite few who won more competitions than Krzysztof did during his career. He will always be remembered as the only man who managed to push Zidrunas when it came to shoulder strength and one of the strongest strongmen of all time. Everyone knows who the top two spots belong to, so let's first look at the honorable mentions. Honestly, there's too many names to mention, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna only shout out couple guys from every generation. The first name I just have to mention is Lubomir Libacki, who won the first ever held Poland Strongest Man in 1999. Even though this was by far his biggest victory, he's among very few names who managed to do so. You can't become the best if you have no competition, and that's where Jarek Dimek's brother Jacek and Irek Kuraš come in. They helped make Jarek and Marius the unstoppable forces they became, and even though they don't have the wins to make the list themselves, there are two 130 kilo reasons why that's the case. Another name to mention is Tomasz Nowotniak, who was another solid competitor in the early 2000s. Beating Zidrunas and Svent to play second at Europe's Strongest Man in 2004 just proves how solid he actually was. Another two names that deserve a mention are Tomasz Koval and Tiberiusz Kowalczyk, who, as I said, that there was a split in Polish competitions, they both managed to win some form of Poland's Strongest Man competition under different federations. The next honorable mention goes to someone who I seriously consider to make the 12th spot, and it's Janusz Kuwaga. Honestly, even though I decided to go with Sebastian Kurek, I can see it going both ways. Both had some really good performances at the international stage. It has to be said that Janusz won his national title and Sebastian didn't, but let me know who do you think is more deserving of the 12th spot on the list. Up next, we have Mateusz Ostaszewski. Mateusz competed mostly at the Arnold circuit after winning the Arnold Amateur in 2017, where he actually beat Oleksii Novikov for the win. He put his name into a very prestigious club of strongmen who won this competition, Mike Jenkins, Mikhail Shivlyakov and Bobby Thompson, just to name a few. Unfortunately, he never managed to repeat this success, but I believe he is deserving of a mention on the list. The next two guys I just have to mention, they are among the best under 105 strongmen in the world from the last decade, and of course I'm talking about Przemyslav Marczewski and Martin Sandwitski. 
and we are gonna stick to new young guys but this time we are talking about guys who can appear on this list a couple years down the line and i'm talking about the 2021 and the 2022 poland strongest men oskar zielkowski and marek tchaikovsky very promising guys but they are yet to prove their worth at the biggest stage but i believe they are both good enough to do so in the near future at number two we have the one and only mateusz kiliszkowski Mateusz made his name known outside of Poland for the first time when he won the 2014 Arnold Amateur, which qualified him for the 2015 Arnold Strongman Classic. There was a lot of negative sentiment coming into the Arnolds because Mateusz was by far the lightest athlete, but Mati shut all the haters and came third, just behind Brian and Zidrunas. Everyone was a believer after that. He won the title of Poland's strongest man for the first time in 2015 and as you will see in a bit, it wasn't the last one. He competed at the 2016 Arnold Strongman Classic and he has proven that the last year's result wasn't a fluke as he finished in 4th place. 4th was a place he took at Europe's strongest man that year and he was going into the world's strongest man as the reigning Poland's strongest man. He made the final in his first appearance finishing in 7th place. He started his 2017 season with a win in the Forza Bruta and once again he came 4th at the Arnolds. Mati won the Arnold Africa and improved his placement at Worlds to 6th. He also kept his Polish title. In 2018 he continued his streak of 4th places at the Arnolds and he also made podium at Europe's Strongest Man. But his biggest improvement came at Worlds, where he finished second only to half tour. Mateusz ended the year with his fourth title of Poland's strongest man in a row, and he also won the Giants Life World Tour Finals. He also partook in the first ever World Ultimate Strongman Dubai, making the podium next to Thor and Brian. And what if I told you that 2019 Mateusz was even better? He was third at the Arnolds, he was second at Europe's and second at Worlds once again, he won the Giants Life in Wembley, he repeated his win at Giants Life World Tour Finals, he won the Arnold Europe and he captured the title of World Ultimate Strongman. What's crazy is that Mateusz was even better at the 2020 Arnolds. Even though he finished second, he won 4 out of 6 events. Unfortunately, a global pandemic and triceps injuries happened and we wouldn't see Mateusz for 18 months. He returned at the end of 2021 at the World Ultimate Strongman Dubai where he finished second. The last time we've seen Mateusz is the inaugural Rogue Invitational when he finished in 4th place after doing only 3 events. That would be a great career in the sport as it is, but the Polish Titan is still in his 20s and getting ready for the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. And at number 1, we have no one else than the Dominator, Piton, Super Mario, Pujan, Mariusz Pujanowski. There are very few competitions this man did not win, and very few men he didn't beat. He had the nickname Dominator for a reason, and right now I'm gonna show you that exact reason. At 23 years old, this man was already a Poland Strongest Man and he finished 4th at World Strongest Man. This would be a very successful career for 99% of strongmen. For Pujian, this was his first year in the sport and it only got better from then. He was unable to compete in 2001 due to factors outside of the sport, but he came back even stronger the next year. He won the Europe Strongest Man and was going into Worlds as one of the favorites. That was for a good reason. Mariusz Pujanowski was crowned the 2002 World Strongest Man. He appeared at the 2003 Arnold Strongman Classic, finishing 4th. But when it came to Europe's and Worlds, he was untouchable, repeating his wins in both. The Arnold Classic didn't suit him as much, finishing 5th in the 2004 edition. Mariusz was coming into the 2004 World Strongest Man as a 3-time Poland's and Europe's Strongest Man, but he was bested at Worlds by Virastyuk and Saviskas. In 2005, Mariusz started organizing his competition Poedinie Giganto. He would win the competition three times. He dominated the Super Series this season, winning four of their shows, coming into the World's Strongest Man as the favorite. 
He dominated the competition, winning his third World Strongest Man title, but it has to be said that not all the best athletes were present. He won every competition he competed in 2006, other than the Arnold Strongman Classic where he finished 6th and Worlds where he finished 2nd to Phil Pfister. Marius was back next year, living up to his nickname, dominating competition after competition, winning Europe's for the 4th time. He was once again coming into Worlds as the Polish and European champion and he reclaimed his World Strongest Man title for a record equaling 4th time. In the 2008 season, Mariusz once again showed pure domination. He won Poland, Europe, and after a very close final against Derek Poundstone, World, setting a new record of World Strongest Man wins at 5. The 2009 season started with Mariusz dominating comp after comp, winning the Globe Strongest Man and adding a 6th Europe Strongest Man title to his name. The 2009 World Strongest Man was a very anticipated competition as we would finally see the World Strongest Man and the IFSA guys competing head to head since 2004. Mariusz showed everyone how incredible he was, but in the end it wasn't enough and he finished second to Zidruna Savickas. After the competition, Mariusz retired from Strongman and switched his focus on MMA. He had a successful career in MMA as well, currently holding a record of 17 wins and 7 losses, with his last fight being in May 2022. To this day, there can be a very good argument made that Mariusz Pudzianowski is the greatest strongman of all time.